Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming a little foundation slash concealer collection video. A lot of you guys have been asking for me to do like a top five favorite foundations, but when it comes to foundations, I actually don't have a top five. So I thought doing a little collection video might be a little bit more helpful and I don't own a lot of foundations. So I thought I would add in my concealers into one video. So that way I am knocking two birds with one stone. And I feel like in this quarantine, I'm just getting a a lot of video requests ticked off my list. So if you guys are interested in seeing my little foundation and concealer collection, then just continue watching. So let's first start off with foundation and let me just say none of these foundations are my perfect match. I just feel like it's so hard to get a foundation that is yellow enough but not too yellow, that's warm enough but not too warm where I look orange and that has a nice formulation to it. So I definitely struggle when it comes to foundation and I think that's why I've been putting off this video for so long is because I'm like, am I really the best person to be talking about complexion because I can't even shade match myself properly because it's just so hard. Okay, we got bigger problems in the world, but shade matching is an issue, okay? I'm just gonna say that first. I do get a lot of comments from you guys saying that you watch me because we have a similar skin tone, so you want to see what foundations I have. Typically, when I shop for foundations or concealers, I go for like the light to medium range, and that's how I would classify my skin shade. But to get started, let's just start off with a banger my favorite foundation this one is from urban decay it's their all-nighter waterproof long wear liquid foundation it's full coverage and it has a matte finish and I'm in the shade 4.0 so this is my favorite foundation formula wise I think it's so full coverage the finish is I wouldn't say it's like a complete matte I do like the undertone of 4.0 but it is a little bit too dark for me. So if you're like maybe one or two shades darker than me, I think this would be like a perfect shade match for you. But I did try 3.0 which is one shade lighter than this one and it is too light on me and I feel like the undertone is not as warm as 4.0. So it's like I wish there was like a 3.5 with the all nighter. Maybe that would have been like my perfect shade but it is too dark. But I do like the undertone. I still feel like I can make it work if I just bring it down to my neck and I guess on my chest as well. But it is just like my favorite foundation formula wise so that's like my top one I guess. <laughs> Next I have the Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I'm just going to add it in here. It is pretty much a base product and it is what I'm wearing on my skin today. I'm not wearing foundation, I'm just wearing this, but I am wearing a full coverage concealer, which I will mention later on. I have it in the shade Medium 9. I also do have a light 7W. I gave it to my friend for her to try out the formulation, but I would say it doesn't really matter which shade you use when it comes to tinted moisturizers because because it is a very light, light coverage. You could go one shade lighter, one shade darker when it comes to tinted moisturizers, like from your typical shade range. I feel like you can play around with shades and it will typically match you. At first, I didn't really like the tinted moisturizer from Colourpop, but now it's like one of my favorites and I did use this in probably like my previous video or the video before that. It's like a very soft, natural look. But also from Colourpop, I have their no filter foundation stick. I have one in a light 70W and a medium 90 TW. When I do go for the no filter sticks, I typically go for light 70W. I think it does match me a little bit better than um, 90W. I think I still could pull off both to be honest, but I do prefer the lighter one. As for the formulation, it is good. At one point, I really, really liked it, but I feel like the more I used it, I don't know, something about it. When I use a brush, it looks too cakey, but when I use a sponge, it's really hard to blend out. I don't know if it's just like this has gone bad and it's really hard to blend out with a sponge now, but the coverage is good. I just feel like it does emphasize my texture a little bit, so I just don't gravitate towards this one as much. And then I also have the ColourPop No Filter Liquid Foundation in Medium 90. If you had to ask me if I like the liquid or if I like these sticks, at one point I did like these sticks better, but I think now I'm liking a liquid. Liquid. And again, I think it might be just my skin texture changing to drier skin that I'm liking more of a liquid consistency. I actually haven't used this foundation in a really long time because it is just very dark on me and this does oxidize so uh, I just haven't used it because it's just a little bit too dark. But honestly, I would give it a go. I don't like how the bottle doesn't have a cap, although you can lock the pump. 
um, I think it would be a little bit more hygienic if there was a little cap but nonetheless it is a good foundation just haven't really touched it in a while because it's too dark on me we then have the hourglass vanish stick foundation I'm in the shade sand at one point this was my holy grail foundation and I still really really like it I think it's a lot easier to blend out than the color pop sticks I would say it's more like a medium coverage I think the urban decay one is like full full coverage I just like the finish it gives off but again sand is a little bit too one shade too dark for me right now so i haven't used it in a while and this one is probably my most expensive foundation next foundation is from Juvia's place this is their i am magic velvety matte foundation i got the shade cairo 600 shade match wise this is way too light on me. I use this foundation when I do my cosplay look and I need to look lighter or I need to look sick or pale. This is the foundation that I go to because it is my lightest foundation. Shade range wise, it's just not a good match at all. When I was shopping for this, it was so hard to pick out my shade. Like this shade selection match online is very hard to decide on which shade you are. I don't know if they fixed that, but when they first launched, it was extremely hard to shop for your shade. So hopefully they did change it, but Cairo 600 is probably like, I'm gonna say like five shades too light for me. But this is probably the highest coverage foundation that I own. The coverage on this is insane, and the way it blends out, a little goes a long way. Half a squeeze, you could like get this all over your face and the coverage is so intense. Although the coverage is amazing, the way it blends out is so seamless and easy. Over time, it can look very cakey and very thick. So it's not my favorite foundation at all. I honestly just keep it for like my cosplay looks because I need to look fairer. Other than that, I would not use it on the daily because it's just a little bit too cakey. Although I love the coverage, just way too cakey. So my last two foundations are from Wet n Wild and they are no longer cruelty free. At one point we all believed they were but they at one point was selling in China behind our backs so I consider them no longer cruelty free even if they are claiming that they are. However, this is part of my collection so I just wanted to share it with you guys. I don't really use these foundations anymore but I'll just share with you and the shades that I got anyway. So I first have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Golden Beige. This at one point was my holy grail foundation and I did stop using it. Like I wasn't using any other foundation besides this one. I don't want to promote a non-cruelty free brand but it is really good. It makes your skin look so amazing. The coverage is great. Their shade range obviously could do more work. I think Wet n Wild could do a lot more work when it comes to shade range and other morals it's a really great foundation very affordable once the news came out i stopped using this i discovered all nighter again and i fell in love with all nighter and i actually like all nighter better than wet n wild but obviously urban decay is a lot pricier than wet n wild so i'm just gonna leave it there photo focus i'm in golden beige and for my last foundation i have the wet n wild mega cushion foundation spf 15 i got it in the shade buff beige honestly i don't remember too much about this cushion foundation and this is actually my only cushion foundation but i remember the coverage was really really great it's a little bit dark on me um so maybe i would have went for a lighter shade if you guys have any good like cruelty free cushion foundations let me know because I'm really intrigued by them. I saw 3CE come out with a new cushion that looks pretty interesting. So those were all of my foundations. Let's move into concealers. So my Holy Grail concealer is from Too Faced. This is their Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I have it in two shades. I have it in Almond and Golden Beige. I first started off with Golden Beige and I realized it was getting too dark for me and then I switched to Almond. I feel like Almond is like my perfect concealer shade for under my eyes. I probably could go like one shade lighter even just to really highlight my under eye area but nonetheless this is the most beautiful concealer ever I think the way it blends into your skin the way it covers your skin it doesn't look too cakey but it gives you that coverage it's just a beautiful concealer honestly I also have the Too Faced Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer I used this a couple times a couple years back so my memory is a little bit foggy but I do remember it being quite nice but the coverage wasn't high enough. You know for foundations, it can be light to medium coverage, it can be medium to high coverage, but I feel like for concealers, 
you want to conceal some stuff, you know. So I feel like it has to be high coverage. I don't know if there's some people out there with perfect skin, can't relate. You might like this if you have perfect skin, you just want something lightweight. You don't want to go in with a tinted moisturizer, just a bit of concealer to just cover up some spots. And then maybe you would really enjoy this, but you know, your girl has some stuff to cover. But the shade that I picked up is light medium. And then I have the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer. I have three shades. And the reason why I have three shades is because they actually sent me over the entire like shade range and I gave so many shades away to my friends. Although I wish I did keep a bit more like lighter shades because now that I'm doing like cosplay looks, I feel like I need them, but anyway, I have three shades. So the three shades that I have is Light 45W, Light 50W, and Medium 90W. So the shade that I typically go to is Light 45. I'll use this under my eyes. Sometimes I'll go with 50. I don't know, sometimes you just do whatever and you just try it out. But I will take Medium 90W to conceal my blemishes, but honestly not too far off shade range wise. And I do like these concealers a lot. I like using this on my blemishes because it doesn't make your blemish look too cakey, it doesn't dry it out, it's very creamy, very hydrating, so if you have very dry under eyes, you could definitely use this under your eyes, but because I have fine lines under my eyes, this will crease, so typically I don't use this under my eyes as much as the Too Faced sculpting one. I then have the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer. It's creaseless, soft matte, and it has hyaluronic acid. I got it in the shade Chiffon. Chiffon is super light on me because Chiffon is actually the shade that Nikki Tutorial uses and obviously Nikki is a lot fairer than me, a couple shades lighter than me. I just keep this on hand for my cosplay looks again. I'll use the Juvia's Place and the Jouer one together because these are my lightest concealers and foundations. So obviously the shade is not for me, not at all. But for the formula, it is pretty good. The coverage is really high. It's probably the same as the Tarte Shape Tape. It's really high coverage, but I feel like it does look quite cakey under my eyes. So even if it was my perfect shade, I probably still wouldn't use this under my eyes like my under eyes is my biggest concern because that's where the most dryness is so that's when I really test out a concealer I then have the Juvia's Place I Am Magic concealer which does go along with the foundation but I got the shade 18 and the concealer is too dark on me so I got a too light foundation and then a too dark Concealer, so that just goes to show how bad I am at picking out my shade I feel like if I did have a bit of a tan I definitely could have used this to conceal any scars on my skin not for my under eyes I honestly don't remember if I like this concealer or not. I think out of the Foundation the powder and the concealer. I like the concealer the most, but it's the wrong shade so can't really say much there. Then I have the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I got the shade Light Sand and again, this is also too light on me and it's probably expired now. I think I got this about like three years ago when everybody was talking about Tarte Shape Tape and honestly, um, okay, the coverage is good, right? And I got the wrong shade, it is too light, but I don't understand how people can put so much of Shape Tape under their eyes like I see people like scrubbing it under their eyes and applying so much because I could apply just like a dot of this and it will look so cakey it will crease instantly I just don't know how people love this concealer so much like I don't know how this was like the it concealer because it was just so cakey and like people was just going ham with it. I just didn't, I couldn't understand. So I mean, I keep it because again, it is a light concealer. And when I'm doing my cosplay looks, I just like to keep on hand. So these are like my cosplay concealers. So I have two more concealers and honestly, I don't really have that much memories of these. But the next concealer is from NYX Cosmetics. It's their Can't Stop, Won't Stop Contour Concealer. I got it in the shade True Beige. And again, your girl is not good at choosing concealer shades. Maybe as like a foundation shade, this would have been a really great warm yellow foundation but as for concealer i think it's a little bit too yellow and it's just too dark so i think i used it like once because the shade doesn't match me i didn't get to use it again so i can't say too much whether i liked it or not but i'll just show you guys the shade anyway and for my last concealer it is from wet n wild again this is their photo focus concealer 
I got it in the shade light medium beige. I remember liking this concealer, but obviously I didn't like it enough to keep using it. It was a concealer that I would just use here and there, and then once the news broke out, I I might just throw this concealer away. It's probably gone bad anyway, so yeah. But with that being said, that pretty much concludes my foundation slash concealer collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful just seeing the shades like swatched and everything. I am sorry about the lighting. I know it was super bright in the beginning and then it suddenly just got super gloomy and dark so i'm really sorry about the lighting but hopefully you guys did find this video helpful and just seeing the shades even if they're not like a perfect match for me i know complexion products can be super hard so if you guys have like your perfect shade match and we're like a similar skin tone let me know which shade it is from which line i would love to hear it from you guys and maybe expand on my collection a little bit more try out different things if you guys did enjoy this video and found it helpful give it a thumbs up i would appreciate it so much if you did and with that being said, that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!